Spear Shots Rum. Call of Dragons opened up Home Kingdoms, offered all of this. And with Home Kingdoms opening, countless pirates have hit the seas. Captain Jack made the declaration that POTC will be the best kingdom in the land, and all will know Server 31. These words spurred all pirates to crush our goals and help Captain Jack become king of the pirates. Come aboard and bring along all your hopes and dreams. Together we will find everything that we're looking for. One piece. You don't know the power of gaming on the dark side. All right, guys. So here we go. We're over here in our home kingdom. Castle looks pretty much the same, but what's really cool when I zoom out here is this new little feature. Ah, I got a little hood hanging out over my castle. Now some of you guys might be wondering what the heck that is. We'll get to that in a second. But what's really cool about Home Kingdoms, guys, is we pretty much own everything, right? I mean, we started out here in Forgotten Lands, which is cool, and there's no one else. It looks like just one major alliance per zone. Um, ours started there. Let's see, you've got Hung over there in the Zoland. We got Posk here in Burning Lands. They're already kind of building out. Let's see, I don't know if there's anyone else. Uh, oh, here we go. Who's this? Who are you guys? Immortal Souls. Oh, they're building pretty quick. Oh, and there's Death DOB, right? Isn't that Death Over Betrayal? Let me see. Sure. Yep, Death Over Betrayal. They're here too, right? So basically, as far as I know, most of the people here in this zone are, are allies already, which is great. Or I should say not this zone, but this kingdom. Um, however, POTC has taken the dragon. All right, we got the dragon here. And as you can see, once you take the dragon here in Home Kingdom, guys, if you're in Home Kingdoms and you're wondering... You know, how you can see who is the king and all the places of, you know, the, the titles the king can give out and all that stuff. What you want to do is click on this banner here. So you click on the banner and it kind of gives you this right here and it shows, you know, the alliance, POTC, the ones holding on to it right now. The high king happens to be R, R5, who is Captain Jack. So you go here and hit privileges and it kind of gives you this quick breakdown of what home kingdoms are. Oh, wow. He already wrote a message. There wasn't a message here earlier, so that's pretty cool. It says, Welcome to the very first Pirate Kingdom in COD. POTC originated here from day one of the game, starting, and has never left 31. This has been the same server we've been in since we started. I started um, uh, the game at Global Launch here in 31 myself. Our pirate code is simple. Freedom to play the game and have fun while playing the game. Without ridiculous rules that whale alliances place upon their members. Not here, not ever. Nor are pirates ever ruled. So let's grow this kingdom and get ready for our first KBK. So let's drink up, me hearties. <laughs> now, that's true. That uh, POTC does definitely have a great atmosphere in the sense that it is about just enjoying the game. Don't get me wrong. We do get serious when we need to. We definitely kick some butt in war. Um, when it comes down to taking the behemoths, we know what we're doing there. We make sure we take care of that as well. We help our players grow. But it's true. There are, like when he's talking about some of these ridiculous rules that these whale alliances have, there'll be, for example, we've been in servers with larger alliances to team up with them. And when there was like the glory points, right? They would sit there and say, hey, nobody um, can get more glory points than X. We've already determined that these players that we've chosen will be the ones that get the main prizes. So no one passes them. If you do, you'll be kicked out and zeroed and they'll ruin your game because you're not playing by the rules and letting them pick who they want to have the the prizes, right? And all that stuff. So they'll do stuff like that or, or tell you how many merits you can get, where you can build and um, uh, enjoy the game, all those kind of things, right? The whale alliances will really dictate to other alliances. And a lot of times they don't even bother caring what the smaller alliances might have to say or the players there, they just kind of do what they want. So this is really cool they do it. Now, over here, there are some cool things you can do in this home kingdom if you haven't seen it yet. There is the um, uh, migration, so people can migrate in. You got your mail, which only the king can send out. What is this skills thing? I haven't seen this yet. Oh, okay, cool. So there are these basic skills here if you haven't seen them. You got special skills, a gem exchange. 
This allows the High King to basically, if he wanted to, take taxes and get himself gems. Right? So you have a kingdom king that's like, oh, I just want gems for myself. That's how it's going to go as far as I can tell. Banishment. Relocates a selected lower city to a random location in their starting region. When they enter the season, if they have City Shield active, if they do not have City Shield active, their city takes... Oh, ho, ho. Cannot target lords in your own realm. Interesting. So... Huh. I, I, I'm kind of curious to see how that goes down. That's interesting. Then you have Exile. Relocates the city, lower city in your realm to a random location in the Novola region or to the Dalaran region. So you kick people out of your, your zone. Crazy. Intensive Gathering. This is kind of cool. right? So basically, these are realm-wide buffs that you can give to everyone as the High King. Um, if you cast this Intensive Gathering for 8 hours, everybody in the realm gets a 30% speed buff to their gathering. So this is something the King can toss out and say, Hey man, we want to make sure everyone, it's time to start gathering. Let's get some stuff going on. Boom, it happens. Now, my question is, does this only happen in the home kingdom, or is this something that we can cast in the KBK? I'm not too sure how that works yet. Intensive construction, kind of the same thing. All build speeds go for 10%. Not bad. Resource healing goes down by 5% with its reduced treatment cost. Okay. War mobilization increases training speed for all your lords by 10%. That'd be nice, especially during, like, you know events where we're trying to get as many troops built up as possible intensive research nice see an extra 10 percent on that so definitely want to cast that you know i, I could see captain jack it probably one of those things where it says hey guys at x date at x time we're gonna be popping this so get yourself geared up to start a brand new research at that time to take ben you know take advantage of the 10 percent but once again i'm wondering because you know especially like this you know this resource healing costs does this help us, you know, for just our, you know, just us, our server 31 people, even in KVK? Because over here in the home realm, there's not going to be a lot of fighting happening. You know, unless someone decides to get froggy, th there really isn't anyone that's going to challenge us. So I don't see those being used. Anyways, let's see here. What's this? Uh -huh. Bam, bam, bam. Interesting. Okay. Uh... Now over here we've got the gifts, so you can give out gifts to people if you're the king, which is pretty cool. My whole thing is like, how how soon do they refresh? Let's see, players can receive one gift per week. Oh, every Monday they're reset. Okay, cool. So it's kind of one of those, I guess those use it or lose it things. Like by Monday, by Sunday night, I guess you know you want to make sure you give all these out so they refresh. Interesting. Let me click on it to see what's inside them, though. Okay. Now, titles. This is where it gets kind of cool, guys. So, now, if you're an R5 in a regular alliance, one of the things that always kind of sucked when I was an R5 back in the day, you know, you don't get any buffs. You don't have, really have a title. Where all the titled people, your R4s, they can get buffs, right? And all this. So, the, 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 the R5 is just like the R5. I mean, it wasn't getting anything special necessarily. Now, by being the Kai King, Captain Jack here gets a Legion attack of 5%, Legion defense of 5%, and Legion HP of 5%. So he has something for being the High King. Now, you have your ministers, right? These are the people underneath you here. You have your consort, your marshal, your chancellor. I mean, you can see here how they all have different things. Then you have me. That's, see, I'm the spy master. I got that little hood over my head. I, I, I was really asking a lot for this, and I was really happy that Jack gave it to me because of the Legion March speed plus 10% because I'm all about my flying cavalry. So obviously the faster I can make them, the more of a menace I am on the field. Um, I'm hoping that these buffs do travel with us into KBK. That will be nice. But there's some pretty cool stuff here. Now, this is where it gets kind of fun. You know, um, obviously, like I said, these little symbols above the guys and all that stuff they are going to show up on top of your castle on the outside so people know who the consort is or who the marshal is you can see it there's actually a that symbol that little that little hood for me um but you also have outlaws and you know these symbols are pretty funny looking i, I like them and i i think in a way i almost kind of want one just because it looks so cheeseball it'd be great but you've got like the chicken right you like, we name someone the chicken and they get now 
minus 3% Legion attack, minus 3% Legion defense. You got the snake, right? He's going to get minus 5% uh, elixir production, the snail, you know? And all that, <laughs> the snails looks pretty cool, dude. Legion March speed, minus, I, I, you know, the snake, I think is probably my favorite so far. Legion March speed is minus 10%. See, that would suck, right? You got the rat, resource production, minus 5%, and gathering speed is going down. You know, so that's going to suck for someone that's trying to, you know, build up their their resources. Then you got the donkey. <laughs> I like his face, dude. He looks pissed. Anyways, he looks like he's about to say something, like, you know, like something really nasty to you. You know, he's going to sit there and just, like, cut you down. But, all right, we got the donkey here. Build speed, minus 5%. Research speed, minus 5%. Now, that would suck. Train speed, minus 5%. I, I mean, you do not want to be the donkey. That's like, seems like just a horrible one. Like, you would give that to like a really bad person that you're not happy with. My whole thing is, as the player who gets this title, how do you get rid of it? I don't think you can unless the king gets, you know, says, hey, you no longer have this title and he takes it away from you. So you're going to have to, you know, bow down to get rid of it or you're just going to have to deal with these negatives. But I, I think it's pretty funny how that works out. Um,. Oh, okay. See, so if you migrate out, you can get rid of it. I mean, I guess this is a way to kind of convince people to say, hey, get the hell out. Let's see the High King records. Okay. It shows who's the High King. Oh, cool. I hit that little like button. The Chronicles. We haven't taken part of any of my military campaigns yet, so I guess this will probably happen when we go into the KVK. And the special rewards. This must have gone to him. He must have got this when he became the High King. I wonder if this is a one-time reward only for the first High King. Or, I mean, obviously, if you were to, like, sit there and give someone else in the Alliance the R5, they become the High King. I don't think they probably get this. This probably, if it gets, like, given out to someone else, it's probably, like, a whole entire little Alliance were to take over the Dragon. I would think that maybe they get these rewards again, or maybe they were a one-time reward. I don't know. That's kind of interesting to see what that would be. Anyways, guys, so that's what we got so far here. I mean, other than that, I, what's really been fun... So far, is taking these behemoths out. See, I'm over here traveling because we're going to be doing uh, an elite raid on the bear. I, and I'm not even kidding, man. These these poor behemoths have gotten their asses handed to them. I mean, look, 300,000 health. I, I mean, these fights, even even the dragon himself, you know, like weren't lasting very long. I mean, we're we're all powered up. We got freaking T5s coming in here. We sneezed on this bear and he died. I mean, we walked in the the bear in the bear's lair and he basically rolled over. I mean, didn't even count, didn't even get a hit off. You know, it's crazy. But um, so I'm kind of curious to see how the elite raids will be if they'll be a little bit better. Oh, interesting. You know, he's got some new little power there. But what I'm really stoked for, what I'm looking forward to, guys, is uh, where are you? That's the Hydra. All right, keep moving. It's here. The dire bear. I really, really, really want the Dire Bear um, frame. I want the frame from the Dire Bear. So you can see, let me zoom out. That's like pretty much the only frame that I really want. You can see over here in my little things, avatar frames. You know, this sucks. I can't, I can't get this one because I, I play on Mac or on my iPad. I can't um, uh, get the PC version. I'm curious. If you guys can comment below, let me know. If I download like an emulator on my Mac, that can do PC, would I then count as the PC version so I can get this frame? Because it's a pretty cool frame. But out of that, other than that, the only frame I really, really want is this one, the Dire Bear Hunter. I mean, because it fits, you can still see my my picture, and the bear looks super sick, better than the regular bear. I mean, that guy's whatever, he's cool. I, I mean, I, don't, I won't sneeze on it, but this one's not the one I really, really want. The giant, bleh. Rock, I mean, he's not bad. I, I like the lightning bolts. But you start getting into these like higher ones, like the like the magma, the dragon. You know these ones here. They cover my face up too much. I'd have to change my profile picture. It just doesn't work very well. I mean, the, I guess the frost dragon works okay, but like I said, this is the one I want. So I'm really really hoping that we're able to get that this season. Because I mean, obviously in Home Kingdom, this is the only place where the dire bear is at. They're not in um, a lot of subsequent seasons after the first season. So I'm glad to see him. I definitely want him. Ah, get rid of that. Sorry. Let's see here. So we'll see. We'll see what happens, guys. It should be pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, we do have spots available. If you guys are looking to join a really cool alliance and you know you're an active player and fun 
and just want to enjoy the game and you haven't had a chance to migrate over, I think migration is still available. Um, so you guys can try to migrate over here before July 3rd. Because once July 3rd hits, if you look over here, you can see that's when the registration begins. And once I think we register, it's no longer able to have people migrate in. So you definitely want to put in an application if you want to come on down over here and join our home kingdom. Hang out with the pirates, hang out with some cool folks. We, you know, we're, we're glad to have you. So I'm going to hit us up. Let us know what's going on. Definitely talk to Captain Jack. Um, check out the Discord and go from there. But this should be a pretty cool thing. I'm looking forward to see who we get matched with for KVK. Uh, you know, there's, there's definitely some alliances I feel that are gunning for us. And there's definitely some alliances I wouldn't mind fighting against. So it would be pretty cool to see what's going on. Anyways, guys, that is it for now. Um, there's really not much else happening in this other than the fact that every behemoth, every pass is completely open. As long as you build up to it, your alliance can take them. So take advantage of that, guys. You guys can get all kind. I mean, all these first capture rewards are all back there again. You guys can get all these first capture rewards for the passes, for um, uh, the behemoths. I mean, that's a ton, a ton of gems. A ton of speed ups. You know, you got your uh, relocations. I mean, you guys, especially if you're free to play and you're part of a great alliance, go out there, guys, and get as much as you can over the next two weeks. Really build up your account and take advantage of it. So don't sleep on this, guys. Like I said, all the passes are open and they're pretty freaking weak sauce. I mean, everything is like at a level that's like just so easy to beat. It's like insane and all. But like I said, all the stuff is there everything so go for it all right take advantage guys that'd be my advice on that home kingdoms they're here um i really don't foresee much happening until the um uh, registration kicks in and we start seeing who's gonna be matched up then the videos will start flying talking about the matchups and what's gonna happen with that in the meantime let's just keep on building oh last thing see i got the little buff right there boop spy master i love it i love it It'd be really cool if it put right next to your name. It says Spy Master Darshigong or something like that, not just a little thing on top. That, that'd be kind of cool. But it is what it is. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for um, watching, checking out the video. Um, I hope all you guys are having fun in your home kingdoms. I hope you guys are crushing the buildings, getting those behemoths, getting those frames. And I'm looking forward to KBK. Um, good luck to everybody. All right, so I will see you guys in the next video. I'm your boy Darshigong. That sounded really weird how I just said that. Let me try that again. Sorry, guys. Excuse me. I'm your boy, Darcy Gong, here at Gaming on the Dark Side. And I hope to catch you guys in the next video. But until then, I hope all of you keep on gaming on the dark side. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want. So I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning These ladies know that I'm sitting And this is just the beginning I'm closing in the night, getting There ain't no point in resisting Living life like a dream Baby, right, that's the thing Every night, got a team I've been tied to the scene Out on stage, here I'm screaming Okay, this is a dream And I pray as a team One day, it be me If I want it, then I'll get it Head down, don't regret it Push myself to the limit. If I play it, then I win it. I'm just saying, I'm just living for today, for a minute. I don't stay, I just visit, it. Have no shame, I admit it. Yeah. Looking high, high, to see if I succeed, to see if I believe. They're looking up to me. They want the best of me now, best of me.